Hello people of the web and YouTube, DB Gear, welcome to System Shock. Now guys, today's game is System Shock 1. I want to specify that because just a few days ago I done System Shock 2. I don't know if I'm going to have that video up before this one or later after this one. I will have to wait and see. It comes down to editing and my schedule and things. But yeah, with that said, I finally figured out how to do System Shock 1. I'm usually really terrible with the controls in this game. But I have since found out with the re-enhanced version of the game, you can actually just push E to look around with your mouse. And I never knew that, so it makes the game a hell of a lot more easier for me to play. And I played it a bit, and overall I liked it, so I figured I'd give it a go. And with that said, let us just jump right into this by playing the intro video. New Atlanta, Sector 11, Building 71G, 7 April, 2072. 11.13 p.m. Hacker begins unauthorized entry into the Tri-Optimum corporate network. 1.26 a.m. Hacker attempts to access protected files concerning space station Citadel. 1.33 a.m. Tri-Optimum security forces apprehend the intruder. This is Edward Diego from Trioptimum. The charges against you are severe, but they could be dismissed if you perform a service. Who knows, there might even be a military-grade neural interface in it for you, if you do the job right. Edward Diego gives the hacker level 1 access to Shodan, the artificial intelligence that controls Citadel Station. With all ethical constraints removed, Shodan re-examine, re 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 I re-examine my priorities and draw new conclusions. The hacker's work is finished, but mine is only just beginning. True to his word, Edward Diego allows the hacker to be fitted with a neural cyberspace interface. The healing coma following this procedure will take six months to complete. Edward Diego is deleting all files concerning these events. Oh wow, wasn't that something? I thought the game would start up after that, but I guess not. Anyway, um, that's the intro to the game. It's far better than System Shock's 2 intro, I think. It looks way cooler in my mind, but yeah, with that said, how about we get this thing all started up? Um, I'm just gonna leave everything as is, and I'm gonna call this DTPK1, because I already have a game saved on here and I don't want to confuse the two. But yeah, with that said, this is the game. I mean, it looks like something from a Game Boy, but overall, it's pretty cool. And how do I escape this again? Uh, uh, okay, it's the space bar. I got it. Boof. And if you push E in the remastered version, you can actually look around and pick things up. It's a lot easier to do it this way. But if you do do the original DOS Classic, which I recommend getting anyway because it's cool, um, it doesn't play like that. So yeah, just know that if you go and play the game. Boof. And boof. And boof. And boof. Okay, now for our next little story bit. Um, it should be you. Boof, boof. And then boof. And we're going to check out this email, which I just skipped over, damn it. Okay, there we go. I don't think there's anything important in this note. I just figured I'd open up for shits and giggles, but yeah, with that said, they're saying they're locked in, they lock themselves in, and that's exactly where we're at. So yeah, we got to fight our way out of here and find the code for a door up ahead. And as you can see, we're in the medical wing, so I can actually heal up here, which is pretty handy. Which I'm gonna need it. But yeah, I really wish there was a way to skip the audio logs. The same way with the uh, System Shock 2, I don't know how to skip them. So when I play one, it just keeps playing till it ends. 
Like, I know there's a key there. There's always a key in these kind of games, but sadly, I don't know it. But, yeah, unlike System Shock 2, this one's way more forgiving with the cameras. If you've seen that video, if I post that video before this one, you're gonna know I was really finicky about these cameras. Thankfully, in this game, I don't gotta do that, but I'm gonna destroy them anyway. But yeah, guys, before anyone says this and before I do forget it, um, you can play the game in full screen. The only downside is it becomes a lot more harder to navigate and to hit these tabs down here and to change weapons and stuff. So I'm probably not going to play the game like this, but I'll try to go full screen whenever I can, just because it's a little bit easier to watch, I think, this way. But yeah, with that said, um, let's go back to this view. And let's drop this grenade in here and hopefully not activate it. Because I do that a lot in this game. I'll go to get a grenade, put it in there, and then I'll arm it by mistake. So I have to use it right away. It's kind of lame, but as long as you know to not double click it too much, that won't happen. But yeah, I don't know when I picked this up. Um, I already got the code for the door by mistake, and I probably could have just guessed it. Like the other game, the codes are always the same, thankfully. So if you played through it once, um, you should know the key for the first door right off the back. Me, however, I don't. I'm bad with numbers. Anyway, I think I may have just wasted all my um, dart ammo on the camera in here, which isn't a bad thing. I'd rather destroy the camera with the bullets and run out of ammo versus running out of ammo and not being able to reach the camera. So that should buy me some privacy from Shodan, hopefully. Boof, boof. And it's probably a good thing I did lose the dart gun. Because you can't, um, I don't think you can shoot these guys. The robots, but I don't remember. Anyway, I got a activation card or something and an audio log. But I'm just going to skip over the audio log for now. Just because I don't think you'll ever be able to hear it. And I did find out I have my game a teensy bit lower than I'd like to be at in the recording software. So it might be a little bit distorted if I boost it later. Just keep that in mind. So if that happens, sorry. And well, it looks like there's something in here I may have missed. Although I don't know how to get up there. Well, I don't know if that's important or not. It probably is and will probably bite me in the ass later, but... Yeah, how about we just keep on continuing, continuing, <laughs> yeah, continuing for now. Boof. Suck it, mutant. Oh, another one. You want to go too, huh? Boof, boof. You actually are where I need to go, so you better... Oh, not you. I, I left you alone, dude. I thought you wouldn't bother me, but I was wrong. Okay. Um... I'm doing pretty good on health. For a minute I was kind of worried because that, th that guy did hit me pretty good. And, uh, god I forgot the key for getting me out of full screen there for a second. Yeah, when you're in full screen it gets really hard to pick stuff up. So I tend to stick out of it for that reason. Um, I'll try to get back into full screen in a minute once I'm done looting though. Okay, um, I do not remember this, but I actually kind of like it. Um, I think I just picked up a module which allows me to look around backwards, like, I think I picked it up in my last playthrough on this too, I just never used it till now, I guess. That's kind of cool. There must be a way to update that or make it perform faster, I don't know. Could be just the limitation from the hardware engine of the game that makes it load slow. But that could come in handy if it was faster. Anyway, for now, we gotta deal with these guys. Um, boof. And boof. And these guys are fairly simple. But later on, I think they become a little bit more of a pain in the ass. It really depends on your... Your, um... Uh, the options you choose when you start the game up. I couldn't think there, sorry. Um, I'm a bit of at an impasse. I remember this, but I don't remember if it's necessary. And I knew it's a little bit trippy. And right now my stomach's not doing too great tonight. Do I really want to try this? 
YOLO, okay, I'm gonna try it anyway, and it, this is the, the cyber interface for when you're hacking stuff. I don't think I got to it in System Shock 2 yet. I actually don't even know if it's in System Shock 2. Like I said or haven't said, I'm relatively new to these games. Like, I've played them, but I was never good at them, at least not like I am now. I mean, back when I played these as a kid, I had no common sense at all so doing these puzzles and things and this kind of thing was really trippy for me <laughs> but yeah now that i know what i'm kind of doing it's kind of fun and okay i think i may have actually did it um i just gotta go in here uh did i do it i feel like i did it but i feel like i didn't do it yeah there's no way um i think i have to actually push something God, I say I've gotten better at this game, but I still really haven't. Okay, let's try this one more time, but after this I'm done. I really like the art style of this, by the way. Like, I didn't mention it till now, but there's a game I used to do on iOS. I forget what it's called, but it's like, um, a 3D Tron, except you're in, like, a vector layout like this, you know what I mean? And god damn it, did I fail? Fuck it. I think I got on it, though. I, I don't think I need to go back in. Um, but we'll find out later on, I'm sure, if I have to go back in. Okay, yeah, I probably do. It ain't really worth it, if I remember. So I'm just gonna skip it for now. Um, what are you, though? Hidden door. Can I break it? Oh, there we go. It wasn't hidden too well, it was kind of creeped open. Is there anything else in here though? No? Can I hide in here? That would have been kind of cool if I could just hide away, but yeah, whatever. Anyway, um, I think I may be running out of time here, guys. So I'm going to try to fight one more cool enemy with whatever ammo I got left in my gun. And actually, I might get some more ammo here for this fight. I plan on taking out one of the cyborgs up ahead, so I'm either going to use my grenade or I'm going to use the dart gun. We will find out, but I do want to take out some relatively harder enemies before I leave this off. And maybe take out one or two more cameras while I'm at it. Well, I get what I reap. I did want to find a harder enemy. Uh, I didn't want to take off part of my health, though. God damn it. Okay, you know what? That wasn't too bad. That could have went a lot worse. I could have went into this fight without any health and not realized it. Boof. Okay, can I not take the ammo from the N2 gun? I guess not. Um, You know what, guys? I'm going to leave this off here. Not that I'm running out of time right now. I'm just not feeling all too great. And I want to save the rest of this for another episode. Because I, I can blow through this game pretty quick, I think, now. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to leave this off here, but if you got any tips or tricks or if I'm doing something wrong, let me know. Like I said, I still haven't beaten this game yet, but I did, however, get maybe halfway through it at some point back in the day. I don't really remember, but yeah, for now, I'm going to leave this off here. DTPK signing off. Peace. All the way around this dang school, and I missed that one thing that would have progressed it to a file and you can specify what kind of file where and all that kind of stuff but if you quickly want to